So hello everyone. My name is Shi Qi. Um, I'm a science student at Johns Hopkins University. And today my topic is bicycle sharing programs in Washington DC. So as an ERE concentrator, uh, I think sustainable development is a critical issue for us to pay attention to. And the um, um, bicycle sharing program is an environmentally friendly program uh, options for residents and the um, tourists. Uh, besides, due to the terrible metro situation in DC, I believe it's more convenient and affordable for most of us to uh, go to school or work by bike. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about um, the bicycle sharing programs, its markets in DC, and the challenges faced by the pr private com companies. And to begin with, um, I think the bicycle sharing program is not new. It's been around it for decades in Europe, and the first one is uh, was launched in 1965 in Amsterdam. And the um, bicycle sharing programs allowed um, individuals to use the uh, bikes on a base need on a daily base needed without costs of buying a bike or uh, the cost of maintenance or storage. And the um, stated, goal, stated goal of many programs um, is that it can it integrate the uh, bicycle uh, into public transportation system and in, it encourage commuters to use um, uh, sustainable options for transportation and the public values for the uh, of the programs uh, is in three levels for users uh, it increases their transportation options and the uh, it's beneficial for people's health for exercise and uh, also save costs and for environment it can reduce the uh, fuel in fuel fuel use and uh, reduce carbon emission and they also can raise people's uh, awareness environment protection awareness and for um, for a community uh, the program can really actually relieve the transport transport congestions and also um, reduce the implementation cost of the government. And then I move to the next part, is the bike sharing markets in DC. Uh, actually, there are now five programs in DC now. The first one is Capital Bike Share, uh, which was long, it's a municipally owned and operated program launched in uh, 2010. Uh, and it expanded from uh, 400 bikes from the beginning to 3,700 bikes uh, today. And uh, in recently, four other uh, new competitors uh, that are private companies enter the market of DC. That is California based companies uh, Lime, Lime, Lime Bike and uh, Spin, and also Chinese companies uh, Mobike and Ofo. Um, <coughs> And their entry to the market definitely threatened the array of the capital bike in the city. Uh, so uh, about the difference between the government, uh, the municipally owned companies and private companies, the first is that um, these private companies' bikes are uh, actually stationary bike, and meaning that you don't need a station or you don't need um, Specific companies uh, dock to put those bikes, and you can drop them off everywhere you want. It's, uh, only if it's in Washington DC. And to use the bike systems, um, you first download the app of the specific company, and you can scan the QR code, which was on the bike frame or on the smart smart lock lock, and the. Uh, and it needs you to need your credit card to pay for your pay for the price, and also need uh, your phone number and the access of your location to uh, to use the system. 
And for the pricing, um, the those stationless bikes were uh, actually half of the price of the uh, uh, capital bike system. And despite all these efforts um, that the, those private companies make to ent enter the market, actually there are a lot of challenges faced by them. Uh, the first is the risk of stolen because of being stolen uh, because there's no uh, dock on uh, for those bikes to put. So uh, some people may be un irresponsibly put them at places like um, lakes or trees or somebody else's homes. So uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a big risk. And the second one is the District Department of Transportation, uh, which is a DC government utility. Uh, uh, have to issue the companies of bikes. Uh, they kept the numbers of the bike uh, to make sure that Capital Bike is still the uh, major uh, winner in this market. And each of the private companies are were kept at 400 bikes uh, in this city. And the uh, and I think that the bike uh, bike sharing wages uh, bike <coughs> sharing war is waged in this in DC now. Uh, because uh, according to the uh, microeconomics theories, the first mover advantage is very important for uh, companies to uh, win their market share. However, uh, at this time, multiple companies enter the market at the same time, so things uh, start to get more interesting. And one possible outcome is that uh, there's uh, one winner in this market and others are going to uh, shut down. And the other possible outcome is that they all co cooperate with the capital bike and uh, work out some uh, feasible, uh, feasible solutions to manage the market. And that's all. Uh, 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 thanks, th thank you for your time and I'm happy to take your question. <laughs> Like, what is the significant difference between these five programs uh, in <coughs> operations in in operation in DC now, and which one do you recommend to us? Uh, if, sorry for the first question. I mean, you, you mentioned that there's five programs in operation now yeah, yeah, yeah. in DC. Yeah. So what is the difference in their service, and what is like, which uh, one do you? I think uh, for the four private companies, their services are similar, uh, except that um, uh, Mobike, the Chinese company, has uh, um, mobilized a team for uh, for picking up those bikes that are not put in the right place, like those yeah. put in lakes, trees, uh, will be placed by those. Uh, uh, by mobile companies people to put in the center of the city and for other uh, services they all charge the same price like uh, one dollar for an hour and they all have to download their, their own uh, app, apps so I will recommend mobile because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so no, my because offer, offer is also oh. Chinese oh. yeah yes so but it doesn't have uh, like specific team for to oh. to manage the maintenance. Mm -hmm. So the mobile 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 bicycle has a GPS on. Yeah, all of them has GPS equipped equipped ah. in their bikes. So uh, when you open the app app page, oh. you can locate all of the it's bikes near, nearby bikes, yeah. and you can find them, use them, just scan the QR code. Mm -hmm. So, um, what is your opinion on uh, <coughs> where do you think they're going out of business soon, or if there's anything you would recommend them to do in order to keep them competitive in the market? For capital bikes, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Capital bike. Uh, so, I read from the news that the, uh, the leader of the capital bike are now seeking 
for uh, cooperation with private bikes, and they are uh, they are planning to uh, to share some of the market with them to make sure that the uh, consumers always keep um, fresh about their products. Like they try other private. Uh, darkness, you no know, stationless bikes, and the, then they want to try those bikes was put in a specific place. Yeah, maybe that's the strategy that they want to use. But I think um, because the U.S. government are cap the uh, number of bikes to four hundred uh, for those private bike companies. Yeah, it's it's very hard for private companies to actually win the market share. So the capital bank will still be the winner in the DCS market. Thank you.